how to set up and use unit capture. Today I'm going to show you how to use unit capture to where you can create scenarios for the intros of your missions or scenarios for a video. Let's go to the editor. We're going to go to Pinovo, Ukraine. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the map and then we're going to go to this location. We're going to go to Blue 4 and we're going to choose secret weapons, planes, and then we're going to place down the JU-87 Stuka Rudel gun pods. So this is going to be our player. And I'm going to just face him this direction. First thing you want to do with unit capture is you want to place the vehicle or the soldier or the plane that you're going to have starting your intro or starting your video. Basically the guy that's going to come in and take your place for whatever you're going to be recording. So now that we have our plane, we're going to double click the plane and we're going to go to the variable name and we're going to type H1. So H1 is the name of the plane. Next, we're going to go to position and we're going to go to the Z axis, which is for the height. We're going to set this to 50. After that, you just press OK. The plane will be up in the air. And here we are. That's all you need to do for the plane. Let's go to the map and we're going to go to Scalad. And then we're going to we're going to go to Hope 4. And then we're going to go to Red Army. And then we're going to go to Tanks and then to T-34-76. We're going to place down one tank. And that's all we need to do for him. Next, we're going to go to F-2 for groups. And we're going to go down to the Red Army and then to the Mechanized Infantry. We're going to click on that. And we're going to place this infantry right here. We're going to spin them around. And I'm right about there. A couple adjustments. And then we're just going to get rid of half of them. And that's all we need to do for him. So this is the basic scenario. This, this is two vehicles that we're going to attack. We're also going to need a player. We take this guy, press control C, and we're going to put him over here behind this wall. And we're going to make him playable because this is going to be the guy that we're going to switch to. That's our scenario. We're going to go to F3 for triggers. I'm going to grab a trigger without a size. This first trigger, let's edit it. Under the text, we're going to put record. And that's all you need to do for that. The activation, go down to activation. You're going to put radio alpha. On activation, we're going to put a code. Left bracket, H1, comma, space, 800 and then space again then we're going to put 30 press space and then we're going to put true and we're going to put comma and then hit space 10 and then we're going to put a right bracket after that we're going to press space spawn space in capital letters b i s and then underscore and then in small letters f n c and then small letters again capital letter unit and then capital letter C A P T U R E a semicolon to end the code. Before we go on here, let's go to the wiki page for unit capture and I'll explain what these numbers and stuff mean. We are currently on the Bohemia Interactive Community Wiki for Arma 3 and on the page for the BIS FNC unit capture. Here is the description records movement data of input used for a unit over a period specified period of time. Let's go down to the syntax, which is the code here that we put into the on activation line in our first trigger. The first component here is the unit, which we named H1. The second component is duration, which is how long, how many seconds the unit capture process will last. So we set it for 800 seconds. The next is the FPS, which is the frames per second recorded per second so default is 20 we put it at 30 any higher than that is not necessary so this is pretty good the next component is firing which is here this is basically if it's set to true which is what we have set up it will record the input units weapon fire data 
which means any guns that I shoot on the plane, the unit capture will record every bullet that's fired and put that into a code that we can capture. So if you set that to true, it'll capture that. If you set it to false, it won't. The next component is the start time, and here is the start time down here. Starting time offset for the frame time. So basically what that is, is we set it for 10 seconds. That means when the unit capture is started, start recording after 10 seconds. The rest is, you can see for yourself, there's other information there. I will link this in the description of the video so you guys can use it as your reference if you need to. Let's go back into the game and continue the rest of the tutorial. We just finished the code, so you guys now understand what this code does. Just all you have to do now is hit OK. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up another trigger. And we'll just put it right next to it. It's fine. And double click the trigger. Under the text, we're going to put replay. The activation type and the activation type is going to be under radio bravo on activation we're going to type in e x e c capital v m and then space quotes go dot s q f quotes and then semicolon so this is all we have to do for our trigger just make sure that you have radio bravo checked and replay so you can see what the trigger is for and hit OK. That's our triggers. That's everything set up. We're going to save this. I'm going to save this under Pinovo. And we're going to save this as Unit Capture. So now that we have our scenario saved, we're going to go to the Scenario folder because we need to put the script inside of it. We're in the Mission folder that we just created called Unit Capture Pinovo. Here is the mission SQM, and I just put the script go.sqf inside. I will have the script linked in the description of the video so you guys can download it because you will need the script in order to record the code and everything that's uh, needed to set this up. So what you're going to do once you have the script is you're going to double click the script and open it. And then at the top of the script, you're going to see that there's some some code there's not much to it but we have to add code everything that you do with the plane there's going to be code that's going to be recorded that you're going to put here this line here h1 obviously again is the name of the plane and fire is the part where the code that you place here will be every bullet that is fired every bomb that is dropped every anything with weapons that is fired it will be recorded in code and that's what you'll paste here the first thing that we're going to record is going to be right here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to keep this script open and just keep your cursor right there. And we're going to go back into the mission, just fly our plane, do our flying, shoot the, shoot the guns and take out the enemy. And then I'll show you what goes next after that. Back in the editor, uh, just a tip for you guys. If you have vehicles that while you're trying to record a mission, these vehicles decide to roam off because they feel threatened, what you could do is just adjust the fuel down to nothing on the tank and on the half track. And this way, it can't go anywhere. So if you're trying to do a scene for like a World War II short or for your mission, then, you know, it won't be ruined by the uh, AI taking off or something. All right. So next we're going to save that and we're going to basically fly our plane and we're going to play the scenario. So now what you're going to do is we're going to go to zero and radio and then press record. And this is going to record everything that your plane's going to do.
here we press escape and after you press escape at the end of your recording you're going to press escape again and then you'll see some instructions on the right of the screen so it says press f1 to copy the movement data to clipboard so what we're going to do now is we're going to press f1 and that'll copy all the code that we acquired from flying the plane next we're going to go to the script we're in the mission folder so what you're going to do now is you're going to open the sqf and we have the code for the movement of the plane captured on our clipboard so what you're going to do is make sure that your cursor is right in front of the semicolon and then you're going to press Control v and give it a few seconds and basically the code is being pasted into the script and there you have it yeah that's a lot of code the next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna go to this line line 3 under h1 fire equals you can put your cursor there we're gonna go back in the game and we're gonna press F2 to acquire the guns that were used when I fired okay we're back in game what you're gonna do now is you're gonna press F2 and that will capture the unit weapons fire data copy to clipboard as you can see at the top right there so we're going back to the script now back in the script now your cursor should be under h1 fire equals and right before the semicolon you're going to press control and then v and that's going to paste the code for the weapons fired so if we scroll up a little bit you can see where the code is at now so h1 fire and this is basically class names and other information that were fired so this class name here is the machine gun that was shooting from the rear my rear gunner was shooting at the infantry that's basically it so once you have this once you have the code in there all you have to do is just hit save and then we're gonna go back into the editor and we're going to switch the player okay back in the editor the next step is we're gonna go to the, the Soviet playable unit which is right here and we're gonna right click him and go here so this is the guy that we chose to put over here and this is gonna be our playable unit so what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit him and we're gonna make him the player so this is the guy that's going to be watching the scenario or the scene unfold uh, just a little tip for you guys so that uh, when you're playing as him that you don't accidentally get killed or something so disable his damage basically just uncheck this box so if you check this box that means he's gonna get killed he'll be able to get killed so just disable that and he won't uh, be able to get killed all right that's it for that let's go back to the plane the plane is now going to be under the AI's control the plane is going to do exactly what you did previously now we just save this and we're gonna play the scenario now that you're in the mission what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to zero and then you're gonna scroll down to go to radio and then you're gonna go down to replay when you hit replay that basically sets the plane back to where it was started and now what we do is just wait for the scenario to unfold watch it from here so if you're recording a video this is one way to do it another way is to use spectator So another way to record this is go to spectator and choose the plane. Alright guys, that's how the 
unit capture works you could do this with infantry vehicles tanks planes as you've seen for more tutorials take a look at this playlist